Hi and welcome back. Today we are going to fit one of these calipers to the bike and uh, hope we can find out solution that uh, we can live with. We have three different calipers. One is from uh, 2006 Kawasaki Jet 750. One is from uh, Suzuki JL 1000. Then we have one Honda CBR 600 rear caliper. Uh, we will start testing out from the CP600 one. <laughs> nope. <laughs> bang, 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 bang. How oh, I did not see that one. As you saw, the CPR 600 caliber did not fit as I wanted. So let's try this Kawasaki unit next. I will modify this first. If you remember from the last episode I worked with these calibers, I decided to make some cuts to the bracket. So let's go. No turning back now. <laughs> I guess. So, let's see how this fits. Okay, so far so good. It clears the <laughs> disc. But it's quite close. I think I have to do something about this. This side still. It's so tight. And I think if I leave it like this, I could squeeze the support part, part from here. Uh, I'm not so happy how this bracket turned out, otherwise it seems like it, it is fitting. Uh, this bolt here is quite near of the swing arm. Other than that, I think I could use this one. But uh, as I happen to have this TL uh, caliper, I will try this one next. This one is going to be below the swing arm, so the look is going to be a bit different. But let's see how this turns out. Okay. So right away I can see that <laughs> this is way thicker, so I have checked the spacing again. And then the actual hole is also quite large. Or some kind of spacer has to be made over there. Twenty-seven. Twenty-eight. I think that's twenty-eight. So <laughs> lucky me. Pakam. It fits. Too bad it's too short. But uh, I just might have something to space that up. Let's see. I just might not need the space because this was also in here. Actually, this might be a okay. Let's see. I had to make another one. The space is like this. I made this for testing the CP or 600 brake caliber or bracket. Today I made uh, another one because I need something to space this bracket. And then I realized that actually I need one more. But uh, for now I will I will test with these two how the thickness and the how the spacing goes. I can already see that this is too wide. And this is one way. <laughs> Should be this way. It's not too wide. It, it might be even better than the Kawasaki one. Let's see.
there is the next issue. The caliber hits to the center of the rim and I can't install it correctly. Bummer. Well, uh, <laughs> this didn't work. <laughs> so I did some investigation about this uh, CPR 600. I'm going to try how this fits. Uh, I have this small spacer that I made. This is going to be inside spacer here and uh, I should be able to get the spacing and uh, tire uh, in, in the center line with that one. So let's see how this goes. This fits actually very nicely and uh, I can get this uh, in the swing arm quite easily. So this seems to be the perfect match for this bike. If I just position it like this, uh, I have to make sure that the reaction bar is long enough for, for this application and that it will clear the shock tower, but that's another story. So which one would you use? Uh, this CPR 600 unit or this one from the Kawasaki? Z750 that matches with the rim. Let me know below on comments what do you think I should use. I think that is all for today. Thank you so much for watching and if you are still around please subscribe to my channel. Hit also all the ding-dongs so you know when the next episode is up in the air.